I tell you last week that Henry Allen was going to die on the Flash? But Juice, there's no way you could have known that. Bitch, please roll the clip. Yeah, I think his dad's gonna die. What could be more traumatic than his father dying just after he finally came to terms with his mother's death. On top of all that, Henry Allen gave himself the death sentence at the end of the episode when he told Barry, look, I'm changing my mind, I'm gonna stay in Central City, I'm not going anywhere. Anytime somebody says that in a freaking show where something important just happened, they always die! It didn't help that Barry put the freaking cherry on top when him and his dad were having the freaking conversation about him being so positive, where he was like, Dad, you don't even know me, you haven't been around enough. That is something writers love doing because you remember that conversation and then that character dies and you're like, oh no, freaking the last thing he said to his papa was that, oh my god, he wasn't there enough. Granted, I did think it was going to happen on the final episode, but it makes so much more sense to do it on this episode because it sets up the finale. Enough about Henry Allen, although this does worry me since he just died, is he going to be the man in the Iron Mask? If you guys saw my last video, Iron Mask Man Explained, you know that I think it is either the real Jay Garrig or the real Jay Garrig played by Henry Allen. If you saw that video, you know that I hate the idea of it being John Wesley Ship as Jay Garrick because he's already playing a bunch of other characters. And plus, why would they show the damn Barry Allen from the freaking 90s Flash? I just don't want him to be Henry Allen, Barry Allen, and freaking Jay Garrick all in one freaking series. Granted, I know some of you are like, it's probably just an Easter egg. But is it? Because we saw everything else. Those weren't Easter eggs. They were actually part of episodes. To be honest, if you actually include the 90s Flash into the multiverse, it freaking the whole doppelganger situation is truly fucked up, but that's for a whole nother video. Anyways, let's talk about some things that are not as important, but I thought were pretty cool. Laurel is back. If you guys watch Errol, you know she was killed off a few episodes ago, but I am going to say this because I think it's true. I don't know how you feel. I thought Laurel as Black Siren was way better and more convincing than Black Canary. Her as Black Canary. Feel free to kill me in the comments for that statement, but I thought she she sucked as Black Canary. Bring back Sarah! Another thing we got was positive Barry. I actually like this. I like that Barry was positive. It was cool because, you know, that's how he is in the comics. It's how he is in the animated movies and stuff like that. He's always been a positive guy. He's always had an optimistic outlook. So it was nice to see in the show. Although I like this new Barry, I hope it's not always like uppity uppity positive. I hope there's a nice balance because I like his optimism. That is great. That is the Flash. But at the same time, I don't want him to be all the time optimist. You know, I want him to feel like he's not going to win sometimes because that's just human nature. Yo, how did you guys feel about that reverb and Killer Frost cosplay that Caitlyn and Cisco were doing? I thought that was awesome, but my favorite part was when Cisco freaking shoots that beam out of his hand and Caitlyn's all like, What the what? I legitimately LOL. If The Flash wasn't a part of this episode, I would have thought it was the Wally West show because man, did he get a lot of screen time in this episode. We saw Wally playing hero and they are just totally building him up to eventually get his power. So all of you people out there that are crazy enough to think that he's not going to get his powers, you're, well, obviously crazy. Wally is already brave enough to stand up against metahumans, and when he gets his powers, oh man, he's going to be like, Bee -bee -bee -bee. he's going to go everywhere and fight all the metahumans. Although I wouldn't be surprised if he gets shipped to freaking Legends of Tomorrow or something because three speedsters on one show is going to be kind of crazy. We know Wally's being super brave. Joe wants Barry to talk to him, but Barry's kind of like, uh, no, why am I going to do that? He wants to make good in the world. You do that, I do that. Why are we not going to let him do that? On top of that, we know that Jesse is having Caitlyn test her if she's got anything weird and meta about her. Girl, like it or not, you going to be a speedster. Also, Wally and Jesse, mm, man, is that a love connection? What are we going to start calling them? Jwally? Jelly? Jelly. One thing I forgot to mention in the whole Wally West hero part of the episode was when he freaking wrecked Laurel, he freaking just drove his car and knocked the fuck out of her. That was awesome. Something that might have slipped people's minds because they were so worried about Barry and his papa was that Wally West now knows that Barry Allen is motherfucking Flash. We saw this when Zoom shows up to the party, grabs Henry Allen, and Barry takes off. He was standing right next to Wally, and Wally's like, what the shit? So, what does this freaking mean for Wally West? How is he gonna take this? Is he gonna be one of those people who's like, you lied to me? Or is he gonna be like, dude, you're the Flash, that's freaking awesome. I really hope it's the awesome one, because I don't want him to be a crybaby, because somebody was lying to him. Oh, bro! Up. Wally finding out that Barry is the Flash just opens up 
his screen time for season three because now, now that he freaking knows that he's the Flash, he can start helping out at Star Labs. Don't forget that Wally is an engineer in training and has all these crazy brain functions and ideas for engines and shit. I'd expect to see a lot more of Wally around Star Labs in season three and possibly this next episode. Because you know that fool's gonna wanna get his powers and he's probably gonna get them with Jesse Quick because maybe they're gonna be making out and they're gonna be like, oh, no, 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 let's get our powers. He might care about Jesse Quick more than powers. Oh! I got two more things I want to talk about, and the first one being the destruction of Earth 2. What does the destruction of Earth 2 mean? Is this going to be the reason why Flash and Zoom race on the final episode? Maybe it's Zoom's master plan? Or maybe it's CW's way of just destroying worlds so they could do it to Supergirl so they can bring her to the freaking Arrow Flashverse. I hope not. It's going to be really interesting to see if Zoom does have anything to do with this because, you know, it could easily have some diabolical plan and make Barry either choose between Earth 1 or Earth 2, or maybe Maybe Zoom has nothing to do with this and nobody knows why Earth 2 is getting destroyed. Maybe it's a bigger, freaking crazier monster that we're gonna see maybe in a Justice League team up. What? That's totally not gonna happen, but it would be pretty cool for them to drop these little freaking hints of things happening throughout all of their shows leading up to a big freaking diabolical villain that they're all gonna have to fight for the very first Justice League series. I don't think Justice League will be a series. It'll be more like a crossover event. Finally, the last thing I want to talk about is did we just get a freaking Green Lantern tease slash reference? The reason I say this is because when Iris is writing her freaking meta apocalypse review, she says something along the lines of the blackest of nights, we always find the light. Mm, doesn't that sound awfully familiar to the freaking Green Lantern motto? Of course they're not gonna do things word for word, but come on, that sounds very familiar. Also, did you see that green guy floating around shooting shit at the start of the episode? I know it looked like fire and he didn't have a ring, but we all know that the Green Lantern can shoot shit out of his ring if he wanted to. Hell, if he wanted it to look like he was surrounded by fire, he could do that too. I just wanted to throw it out there because we know that freaking the Flash and Green Arrow have been teasing the Green Lantern forever, but we still don't got no Green Lantern. Now, I don't know if you guys know, but on the finale of Legends of Tomorrow, we're supposed to be introduced to a classic character or something along those lines, and nobody knows who it is yet. What kind of character could this be? What if on Legends of Tomorrow, we saw the Green Lantern? I don't think it's gonna happen, but that would be fucking awesome. Come on though, when are we gonna get the Green Lantern? We have Supergirl freaking coming over from CBS and she's gonna be a part of the Flash Arrowverse now. The new Trinity is Green Arrow, Flash, and Supergirl on TV. It'll never replace the real Trinity. What I'm saying is you know we're gonna get the Justice League eventually. We're not gonna get a Green Lantern movie until freaking 2020. So give us the Green Lantern right now on TV. You don't even need to make it Hal Jordan. You don't need to make it John Stewart. Brain fart. Just give us the Green Lantern. You know what? You could make it the female Green Lantern that's gonna come out in the new Rebirth series. I'd be down with that. I just want a motherfucking Green Lantern on this show. That's it, but you know, I wanna know what you think about this week's episode. What was the first thought that went through your head when Henry Allen died? Do you think we'll ever get the Green Lantern? What does the destruction of Earth 2 mean? And lastly, how are we gonna ship Wally and Jesse? Is it gonna be Jelly? or Wessy. Let me know in the comment sections down below. Guys and gals, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with all your speedster buddies. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for all things nerdy and geeky on this channel. As always, guys, I am your host, Juicebox. Remember, when you wake up in the morning, ask yourself something. Have I had my daily dose of juice? See you guys next time. Beep!